Hi guys, welcome to Budget with Lizzie. Today we're going to talk about my goals for 2024. I have savings goals, retirement goals, self-improvement goals, expense goals, and business goals. So if you want to see what I got planned for 2024, stay tuned and here we go. So let's go over the most important section of my financial goals, which are my savings goals. And most of the savings goals are going, to come, are going to be from my savings challenges, of course. And there's people that tells me that that tell me um, I'm doing a lot of challenges, but there's a rhyme and reason behind all that. Because they helped me so much I paid off over 32,000 in my credit card debt just using challenges because each month I pay my bills pay the expenses rent internet gas electric and then I have expense for my cash envelopes and my bus fare that's it and everything else went to savings challenges and that helped me so much so most of my savings and goals are gonna help are gonna come from my savings challenges again this year so let's start with the savings goals first one is gonna be I'm trying to look at my iPad <laughs> um, the first one is gonna be most the most important which is to save twenty thousand for a home down payment. Um, most important thing, like I said, because paying rent to people that just don't want to do what they needs to be done, it's just aggravating. So might as well I sacrifice, save. And get my own. So we're gonna try to save twenty thousand. Next one is to get our get emergency fund to seventeen thousand. Oops. And we already have six thousand two hundred in there. So, which means we're going to save at least 11000 I want to save 2000 in my son's savings account. I also want to save 2000 in my account. And savings. Um, is this a goal or should I put part of my sinking funds as goals? Or should I leave that out? Let's think on that. For retirement, um, I was reading, looking up like ideas of goals online. And at this... And this pop up um, to increase your 401k 1% every two months. And I thought that was such a good idea. So I'm going to go with that. So we're going to increase for retirement. We're going to increase 401k 1% every two months. I want to open an IRA. So save for an IRA and make sure I have it by the end of, by December so I can open an IRA account. Um, and I also want to invest 
1000 in stocks and that's where self-improvement comes in because i don't know anything about the stock market about buying stocks or anything like that so i'm trying to see if i can get a class if there's any like online classes or classes in any you know close by school or anything that have classes like that so i gotta do some research so we want to do investment class also want to do a business class i don't know if that's what you would <laughs> call it but business class um and taxation class meaning i can do other people's taxes so we'll see how that goes for expense goals when i came up with this section i was thinking more of what i need to eliminate as an expense that's not really needed and um uh <laughs> the goal is to have no amazon prime because that's a problem <laughs> if you have amazon prime you get your stuff like mm -mm -mm -mm, and it's so nice to say let me order this bam today's bam you got it my amazon prime and i would like to eventually close my storage room So that's the two expenses I want to get rid of. Everything else what I, I usually, my expenses is usually this house stuff. So it's like, I can't get rid of my con Edison, that's electric, cable bill. That's my online, I need my internet. Travel, I need bus fare to go to work. Uh, Susie's gonna end. Um, Don't renew my susu. So no more susu for me. My my debt is paid off. I don't need to do any more susu. So that's a good one. iCloud, I want to do a dollar. So Expedian, I want to keep that. My insurance. And the only thing is the storage room. See, I don't have much bills. So that's why I'm able to do the challenges I do most of the time. And of course receiving percentage of pay and my challenges so that's the only things i could eliminate in expense goals in business goals we want to start an online business and increase listings on ebay I do sell stuff on eBay, but it's nothing to do with budgeting or anything like that <laughs> on eBay. I used to be a diehard crafter, so I have so much craft supplies in my house. So now I'm selling everything from dyes to stamps, inks. It's endless. So everything is going to be sold. I'm even putting it where it's buy one, get one half off. That's how bad it is. They got to go. So I'll be trying to make a little extra money here. So that's business goals. So savings business. That's my goals for the year. So that's it for my, what is it? Fourth installment of getting 2024 set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for the next one. And the next one should be me setting up my calendar for the year. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to thank you for watching. And thank you for the support as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.